when working with a YouTube video, we use Notebook LM. I'll show you. This is the large language models for the curious beginner video. I can come into Notebook, a free product from Google. I click create new notebook, select a YouTube video, and I'm plugging the YouTube video into Notebook LM. What this is able to do, because it's Google, and Google also own YouTube, is it's able to pull all of transcript and understand everything that is going on in that video. The source explains large language models function as advanced mathematical tools designed to predict the next word in a sequence based on statistical probabilities. However, we can now go to Studio and create a podcast, an audio overview. I'm going to click all of them. Briefing document, flashcards, quiz, infographic, slide deck, and data table. They're always adding new things. This is generating a bunch of learning resources for me. For this video, not my video, but three brown, three brown, one blue, I always get it wrong. Three blue, one brown. It is generating a bunch of learning resources. We all learn differently. Watch, listen, see, quizzes, interactivity, ask questions. Notebook LM allows you to do all of this. It's made me some flashcards, for example. What is the function of a large language model? to predict the next token. Sophisticated mathematical function that predicts what word comes next. I don't question that, but that's fine. So it made me a set of flashcards connected to that video. So I can deepen my understanding of that video. How does a chatbot generate a response using a large language model? Let's see the answer. It predicts the next word, adding each predicted word to the script, etc. You can see the power. It's also made me a briefing document, a summary of the video, really useful. It's made me a quiz. This is a multiple choice quiz. Fundamental task a large language model is designed to perform. That's right. You can make this interactive learning. So a lot of people criticize and accuse of AI of making us dumb. It depends how you use it. I can deepen my learning from this video by feeding it into Notebook LM and actively learning. I highly recommend with all the sources that I'm giving you, all the sources, I'm showing the YouTube video, but everything I'm going to show you I recommend throwing it into Notebook LM and spending some time working with the material as well. Let's hop over to presentation. So I'd start here, start with casually explained, start with Exervia and three blue, one brown. Three blue, one brown is a lot more complex, but if you spend that time, you're gonna get a huge understanding about how LLMs work.